up everyone, it's your boy, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing me Metal Foes. Metal Foes, baby, the most forgotten pendulum deck in the game. This used to be one of the best decks, and nothing got banned for the deck. The deck is still very good, and it's an extremely good pick for all rogue tournaments, where all like the top decks in Demian Pendulum, uh, like actual, the actual meta decks in the game, they're banned. So you can take this and just destroy your opponent in a lot of rogue tournaments, so... Metal Foes best deck, let's go boys! Before we get into this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, we're almost at 32,000 subscribers. Don't forget to smash the like button, if you love Metal Foes, smash the like button baby! If you love Metal Foes, and don't forget to be get a beautiful Metal Foes Electromite, two Electromite class play man! In the description below, look at this, look at this, look at this, boom baby, oof, oof, oh yeah, get it right now baby, best mat in the game. Sign up pendulum trading down below, we're talking about all these cool pendulum decks all the time, and... Let's get started, boys. I'm going to show you guys the Metal Foes combo first, and then the deck profile. So, this deck is very, very powerful. As you guys see over here, this is what you open. The deck is 9 Magician Souls, 21 uh, Metal Foes, so it's like 40 in total. And then you got uh, 10 cards that are just like 5 draw cards. I'll show you guys the rest as we go on, but it's extremely consistent. You drew 2 Magician Souls now, and 2 Metal Foes, and 1 draw card. We're going to start off with Normal Summoning Abductor. Uh, you just want to max out on all Metal Foes. Uh, if you don't open the Souls... There's a cool combo where uh, I can show you guys later. Uh, There's also uh, a cool combo where like you, if you don't uh, hard draw Abductor or Souls, but you have Wear Off Thou, uh, you can still resolve the Wear Off Thou by using a cool play with uh, Normal Summoning and a Metal Foe going Link Spider, Link Spider, Special Metal Foe. Both of them going to Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix going to Link Ross. And now with Link Ross, you have two tokens that are level one. And then you use Wear Off Thou on the token and you search Souls. And because Souls in this deck is so incredibly broken, you have nine like auto wins essentially. Even if they negate souls, it doesn't matter because you're just all you want it there as far as the combinations. So you use metal foes to send the send two combinations and you just win. So th that's basically just the idea there. We actually had an excess amount because then combination will resolve. You guys see that? Like we're at a plus like yes, we are plus. I mean nine cards already. Like that's pretty rid ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna draw up start. Uh, so yeah, they're just absolutely crazy. Uh, the way you want to build this deck. Uh, sorry about that. That's uh. The way you want to build this deck is uh, you want to get cross repels. You guys see that combo there? Well, because Souls when it resolves, there's lots of different like outlets for the combo. Sometimes when you brick, you can't do this. Like if you don't draw Magician Souls, which you have nine of, by the way. Uh, we don't play many Metal Foes, Spells, and Traps. Uh, I'm going to show you the Metal Fusion here, a, a full Metal Fusion, but we're not actually going to play it. We use metal, we always go into Cross Sheep. So basically the way you go Cross Sheep is the Souls, which you search via your nine cards and any normal summon, go Cross Sheep. And then uh, you go Mithrilian from hand. Mithrilium from hand will now allow you to put up the souls. So we're gonna use Mithrilium there, put those back, fusion, draw one. It goes Selene, Selene's bring out Jackal, uh, Appaloosa, and then you guys see what we did there. So Mithrilium, when it gets linked off, we're gonna link Mithrilium with the Selene, with Appaloosa. Uh, Mithrilium, if I go trigger, summon a Volflame from the graveyard. Uh, and then we're going to, instead of pen summoning, we're actually gonna use Volflame for, uh, put, put Volflame in the extra deck to get a free Metal Fusion. Uh, this is full Metal Fusion. In the updated list, which I made, I don't play it. I want to make sure all hands are consistent. And even though full Metal Fusion allows you to make uh, Alkahest uh, easier because you search a card with Bismuth Gear, uh, I'm going to show you guys another cool way to make Bismuth Gear. Uh, uh, Alkahest on the opponent's turn. We are still it's with full Metal Fusion. You don't need to play I chose not to in the final build. Uh, you can always just be another combination and have two combinations set for your next turn. And then, so this is basically the, the idea here. So, uh, Ending on a uh, Vortex and a Unicorn are actually in the extra deck, but if we go Absolute and Masquerina, you can now Masquerina and Absolute in the opponent's turn to go Unicorn to shuffle something and Vortex shuffle something. So if Vortex could bounce something, you can go shuffle something if you go my IP on the opponent's turn. There's a few ways you could end this. So if you go IP and Absolute and end on a board like this, uh, you could make sure you get the effect of Vortex that bounces as well as the Vortex and the gate. Uh, but I'm going to end the turn now and show you the different possibilities. Uh, any on full metal for fusion, you're still actually still gonna end an outcast, and I'll show you guys even with one metal for, and I'll show you how. So uh, on the opponent's turn, uh, so this is where you have an interruption. So we're gonna put the vortex unicorn down there. So on the opponent's turn, you can have a, two interruptions by Appaloosa. Uh, one by uh, like they're gonna enter Belavit to destroy Masquerina, not the Appaloosa. Uh, you're gonna have Masquerina, so uh, it's three interruptions. Uh, bring a unicorn. Absolute bring a vortex because you're gonna link away the absolute. So vortex effect of bounce will be four, and then vortex effect and negate will be five. Uh, because it'll get that as well and then Vort Jackal to negate will be six and then uh, your opponent is not clearing six interruptions right they're just not clearing six interruptions uh, so they're gonna the only way they could clear this is if they imperm or chalice something that makes sense so if they imperm or forbidden droplet which is a big one 
The second they droplet a card and imperm a card, that's what Full Metal Full Fusion is for because then that card is treated as a normal monster because its effect's negated. So since this effect is negated, then you just use Full Metal Full Fusion with the effect the monster that's negated is a normal monster now and Metal Full Gold Driver to go into Alcahest. It's actually pretty cool. But typically you do have two Metal Fulls or just a Metal Full laying around. Uh, you could have also just not gone into the Masquerina and go straight up Alcahest instead of the Masquerina and then turn this into... You could have like uh, gone Absolute and a Link 1. So the other option there, there's two options. We could have gone Absolute and Masquerina. We could have gone Absolute and Masquerina into... Uh, ma uh, sorry, Absolute and a random card into Masquerina and Vortex. And then have the Metal Fold that's just sitting there doing nothing uh, to link into Alcahest. But I prefer uh, getting Vortex's effect on the opponent's turn. But this could have ended on Alcahest. But then the Absolute here would be a Vortex. So they, you could have also done this exact same hand where Vortex, Jackal, IP, Alcahest, and Appaloosa... Uh, it could have been the exact same situation. And you don't need to play full metal full. But uh, I think it helps out for Alcast sometimes business gear. So that's the combo. I'll now show you guys the deck profile. Don't forget, guys, if you like what you see, smash the subscribe button. Metal full's best deck. Let's go, boys. So you play nine uh, metal, full, uh, ma ma metal full magician souls. Because it's a metal full card. These nine over here, all of them search it easily. Where art thou? You do it by the Link Ross combo. So you eventually use Where art thou on a Link Ross token. And it's very easy to make. You just summon one metal full, Link Spider, Link Spider, especially another. And then you go Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix, Link Ross. And you have two tokens. You go Where art thou? And then Souls. And then after you go Combination, you just use the two metal full cards to pop both tokens. And because you're popping both tokens, it's like easy. And uh, yep, so it's nine. You play 21 metal fulls. I understand painful, painful decision is only once, a hard once per turn. I understand that completely. But you want to ensure you always have the metal foes. I'm maxing out. I don't care. It's mathematically correct still. And even if you draw doubles, uh, Magician Souls can only just get rid of one combination and one painful decision. Worst case scenario, you do play nine Magician Souls. You can't forget that. So at times, if you don't have the double combination, you always just send one combination and one painful decision. That's totally fine, especially if it's not set up completely for it. So in a deck that plays nine Magician Souls, you should not fear playing double desire, du triple desire, triple painful decision. You know what I mean? Like, extra cards you should not fear of. You're playing 9 Magician Souls. So, 29, 21 Metal Foes because open, the best hands are 5 Metal Foes. 5 Metal Foes full combo. 4 Metal Foes. 4 Metal Foes and 1 up Souls is the best hand. That's the best hand. Uh, then you play 5 draw cards. So, just you're playing a 35 card deck. Uh, double Jackal for the Souls. Uh, and it's just great to draw. It's just a, literally a free negate. And with Souls, it's free. Abductor typically is only a normal summon. But sometimes you can use it as a scale if you really want. And then one fusion double combo. These three are never dead because you got nine of these to send them. Even if you hard draw the fusion or the combination, you don't give a shit. So there's no, they're not bricks anymore. That's why I don't play the full metal fusion. That's the only one that's the actual brick. Uh, because if you draw the full metal fusion, you don't get an effect if it gets sold. So you have nine magician souls, as I said. So if you just draw a combination of fusion, it doesn't matter. You just use souls on it. So there's no actual dead cards per se, uh, which is the biggest difference of magician souls in this deck. Before metal used to always be like, you know, Metal Force, they used to have a lot of bricks with the Metal Force Paltrass, but now that you have 9 Magician Souls to send it away, and for them to get effects, it's really, really good. This is a side deck made specifically for this format. I think it's very good for this format, especially uh, this this side deck is for uh, a Rogue format. I did not put Endymion cards in here because Endymion cards are banned in Rogue format. That's why I took them all out. But this is it for this. Really, really good. Uh, we got this. Triple Evenly, Triple Enemies are There's going to be seven, 7 cards for back row decks. Uh, there's more back row decks in... Uh, Rogue, so you can actually potentially take out double forbidden droplet for like two cosmic cyclones if you want. This is actually deck like double Celine. You could potentially take out the Celine if you need to, but I think it's good. Uh, Link Spider, Link Ross, Cross Sheep, I Masquerina, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Axis Code Talker, Appaloosa, and you got Mothrilli. You need to play the Phoenix because another Link 2 for Link Ross. You don't want to go Cross Sheep. Uh, you can't make Masquerina with a Link, so you don't want to get rid of the Cross Sheep because it's part of your combo. Mithrilli, double Mithrilium, good for your grind game, Alka Hest. Uh, uh, Vortex and Absolute. I think Sewer Poly is also very, 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 very good Metal Fold cards because you can get rid of uh, a lot of stuff. And uh, so Super Poly would be a, a solid card to side deck as well. But this is the updated deck, guys. Very, very good Metal Fold deck. I also want to give a shout out to Yasin who helped me build this deck. Uh, he showed me the Link Spider combo, which blew my mind. Where even if you draw Where After, Where After, I can always switch Magician Souls. Even if you don't have Bismuth Gear, it doesn't matter. If you can just go uh, the Link Spider combo, bring out Link, Link Ross to summon the two tokens. Very cool combo. So shout out to Yasin for that. And if you guys like what you see, smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button as well because Metal Force best deck. And if you guys love Pendulum, get the beautiful 2 Electromag Cloth Playmat or the Triple Electromag Cloth Playmat in the description below. Uh, they'll both be sold out within a week and a half. So get yours as soon as possible. Uh, they're almost sold out. And if you guys want to learn more about Pendulum, check out Pendulum Training. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.